Yeah, what's going on YouTube? You know what it is. It's your boy Agent Tech Joe. Right back here with another video, guys. Check this out, man. Look, so as you can see, I'm in a different setting right now. I'm at home actually. Uh, not at the shop right now. But I just wanted to show you guys this new pickup that I just got from Harbor Freight. So a lot of you guys know that, you know, I collect tools or whatever. And I'm kind of doing a little maneuvering with my tool storage right now. So as you guys know, I got that DeWalt roll around cabinet. And some of you may know that I have my little Mac Tools um, cabinet at the shop as well. Well, instead of spending a whole lot of money on a big cabinet first, I said, hey, let me get another roll around cab and then um, use my DeWalt and my Mac to store up my tools going back to the ground zero. So if you've been following my page for the past year or so, you know that I started out small. And uh, my philosophy is and was, was and is that you fill up your tools uh, to the capacity of your cart or your toolbox and then you upgrade well i'm going back to square one all right so i got this little uh five draw tool cart this is the series three and i'm gonna point out some differences between the series three and the previous version that most of us have all right so this is my first u.s general toolbox whatsoever and uh, i decided to go ahead and get with this one for right now i'm going to put my main tools in this one and then I'm going to use my Mac Tools uh, cabinet and my DeWalt cabinet, throw those up. And then once I fill those to the full capacity, then I'm going to upgrade to a bigger 72 or 84 inch toolbox. But for right now, this is what I'm going to use for now, right? And I just want to show you guys little features of this toolbox here. I previously just got this on the deal. Um, a lot of you may know about the Harbor Freight, uh, what was that? The little surprise day by day deals that they had. It was like a 10 day deal. Well, on Friday, they had this deal here. It was selling for 190 bucks, guys. Now, I couldn't pass that up, guys. I really couldn't because they sell for about 300 bucks. Uh, I think it's about 280 $290. So $100 off, I couldn't pass this up. Now, this is the Series 3. Um, as you can see here, it is a, um, I think it's like a 30, 32-inch wide. Um, it is a whole lot more deeper than my previous DeWalt roll-around cabinet. Um, but the difference is, is obviously, the black trim right uh the black detail the u.s general down here and up top as well the black uh detail here even goes as far as having the black detail uh pins and bolts and nuts that i had to install in myself it took a little time but hey it wasn't too hard you know what i'm saying um and some more differences is the under latch here so just like the full bank cart have the 34 inch full bank carts have and of course the snap-on boxes have has the under latch here that you can pull uh, to the left or whichever way to unlock that latch of the toolbox and so the previous series 2 only had the latch on the side here that one little latch that you pull boom and it pulls out this one has it all the way across so I like that some people don't like it but I actually like that you know what I'm saying um, another difference is the port back here so the series 2 ports don't have the series 2 boxes don't have the um the electrical port back here now this is closed up i haven't opened it yet because i'm probably not going to use it but this is the port that you can put your electrical cable back here to plug them to the wall and have your batteries up here or another uh, plug-in port up here so that you guys can you know put your batteries up here i'm, go I'm just going to have sockets up here. i'm not going to have any batteries up here so i'm not going to use that which is why it's still closed up have to the lid over it i'm gonna leave that there because i don't need it you know what i'm saying um other than that you know it has the holes right here bada boom bada bay for your screwdrivers my pry bars are not gonna fit in here but that's fine because i still have my other roll around cart that can put that in there with um yeah guys has the side um position here i don't know if i'm gonna keep that or not probably not i don't know yet but i just want to share this with you guys because uh you know it's something new a lot of you guys like to keep up with my toolboxes here. A lot of you guys have asked for a new toolbox tour video, and it will be coming soon, featuring my new Mac Tools um, toolbox. Um, but yeah, guys, this is what I want to show you guys. It's pretty nice. I was planning on getting white. I was like, should I get the white and then accent it in green? Because you know I love my green, right? But I, I couldn't. I couldn't just bypass this, and, and you know, you know, it's green, so I had to get it. You know. <laughs> But all of my main tools that I'm going to use day by day will fit into this toolbox. So it is $180 well spent. I'm definitely not complaining about it. And I'm going to fill this box up. I'm going to fill my DeWalt cabinet up, my Mac tools cabinet up until it's full capacity. 
and then I'm going to upgrade to a bigger box, a 72 inch, an 84 inch. I was looking at the Snap on Epics. Them things cost, god damn, man, $17,000. I was like, yeah, I'm probably not going to do that. Okay, I got wife and kids. It ain't just me. You know what I'm saying? If it was just me, I'd ball out. But I ain't got it like that. You know what I'm saying? I got a little ones depending on me, and they need my money more than my toolboxes need my money. You know what I'm saying? We work to make money, not to make money and then spend it somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, um, so going back to the basics, man. You know? Back to the basics, man. It's pretty cool, pretty decent. But I just want to share this with you guys, man. Pretty decent, man. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys have this Series 2 general uh five draw cards let me know what you guys think about it man because i'm pretty excited about it uh it's pretty dope pretty dope man i'm probably gonna put like a little snap on sticker back here <laughs> i don't know yet probably so um i don't know i've been thinking about it <laughs> just for the heck of it because i know you know it makes snap on fanboys angry but whatever <laughs> and i love pissing off snap i like pissing off snap on fanboys and harbor freight fanboys and the Mako rebrand police because i like snap on i like harbor freight and i like Mako. so it's just fun to me you know what i'm saying <laughs> i'm not a tool member gangbanger or whatever the hell you want to call it anyways y'all know what it is easy tech joe be easy